Greetings and welcome to another episode of Weekly Update Wednesdays. My name is JD from Studio 2105. In this week's video, I'm going to be diving into a little bit of the history behind the compact disc and why is there a difference between 16-bit and 24-bit audio. If you're new to this channel, a warm welcome to you, a big shout out and thank you to all the patrons who help to support the channel financially. If you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on any of my brand new videos. Without further ado, let's dive down to this week's featured question. Question from an old dummy, but why is the CD standard 16-bit 44.1 kHz? I've been given two versions of the same song mastered at 16-bit and 24-bit. Which one should I use? Hey, there's no such thing as a dumb question, okay? If you have questions, if you have anything that you want to ask, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to uh, help you answer them. So, the history of the development of the compact disc bike of the CD is documented in a piece that first uh, was published in the AES Journal uh, way back in 1998. It's an interesting read and if you are someone like me who likes to nerd out on all the technical stuff, uh, I'm going to leave the link to that article down in the description below. It doesn't only just deal with all the purely specific technical stuff, but it actually gives a uh, interesting insight into the stories behind the meetings, right? The dealings between the uh, uh, engineers, between the management, right? Of Sony and Philips who are the co-inventors of this CD. To put it briefly, due to the nature of how computer data is stored as bits and bytes, the formula being 8 bits equal to 1 byte, it made sense to store digital audio at 16 bit resolution. 8 bit would have been too low quality in order to reproduce high quality, um, high fidelity sound, it would not have been uh, good enough. Anyone who's played right video games right on a vintage old game console would probably know. As a related piece of info, the early PCM adapters that were used to store right digital audio had some technical limitations. And from these technical limitations, right, there is a mathematical formula, again, another calculation that helped arrive at the sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz. Therefore, the Red Book CD standard is defined as 16 bits, 44,100 samples or 44.1 kilohertz. Now, if you want to go in a little bit more in-depth, right, I uh, recommend checking out this video. This is an introduction to digital audio. This is one of the modules that is inside my direct access music production workshop playlist. Do check it out. So, back to your original question. Your mastering engineer has given you both a 16-bit and 24-bit version of the masters. So which one do you use? Okay, 16-bit 44.1 is used for physical formats such as CD or vinyl. Do not, okay, I repeat, do not burn an audio CD with a 24-bit files, okay? Which you actually absolutely can do because the machines itself don't know the difference. They just burn the data. Because what happens when you play an audio CD that has been burned with 24 bits is you are going to be greeted by an ear splitting blast of white noise. Trust me, I I've made that mistake before. Now that we are in the digital streaming era, almost all streaming platforms accept 24 bit high resolution files already. There's no reason to be sending them 16 bit anymore. Although you can still deliver 16 bit files, it is definitely recommended to go for the higher resolution one because later on, when it goes through the encoding process, Process, this is going to give you optimum results. So to sum it all up, generally speaking, 16-bit is going to be for physical formats, while 24-bit is for anything that's digital, okay? Hopefully that helps. So I hope that clears things up. If you found this useful and informative, please do leave a like, do share this with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do click on the subscribe button as well. You sign up for the email list for a bunch of free stuff, right? Free goodies. And if you want to become a patron, head on down to the website below. Till next time, stay safe, stay happy and healthy. Happy recording and mixing. Peace, love and music.